Sometimes I see exercises that look impossible, but are they really? Today, my friend Jack and I will be competing to see who can do the most impossible gymnastics tricks, starting with a human swing. I'm gonna be judging all of their exercises to see who is the winner. Wait, this is not fair. Jack is literally your boyfriend. It's totally fair. I'm not gonna be biased. I give that an eight out of 10. That's all she has? Watch this. Slay. I landed with my feet together. That was good. Now that I would give a 10 out of 10. It's currently a few days before the competition and I have a special guest to help me prepare. Hi, I'm Elena and I'm a former Team USA Rhythmic Gymnast and I've always been in Jack, so I'm here to help. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. I think we should start by, you know, stretching her out. This is already way better than Jack. I know she can go more. How do you think I can beat Jack? I mean, you got the flexibility, Jack. Sorry. He's trying. Whack! Push you know harder, Anna, harder! Bro, did y'all hear that? My back just cracked. There's a skill that Jack always loses to me, and I think you should do it. I need to know what this is. Can you show me? So he can't even do one of these. Oh, wow. I think I should be able to do that. I think we should try it together. So Jack can't even do one of those? Yeah, she just comes on his stomach and just flops. I'll have to do that for sure. Slay! really cool, but I know Jack can't do these contortion rolls. A roll? That's so basic, like Starbucks and Lululemon. See? That's not at all what I meant. It's like this. Start bent in half and roll. Wait, that is not the same roll I did. How are you? Ow. Wait, yo, stop. Yo, that's crazy. Just like that. I give that a 9 out of 10. I have to do 15 flips in 4 feet. That's like 4 flips per foot. This is literally impossible. There's no way he's doing 15 back handsprings between those lines. 3, 2, 1, go. I mean, Jack has the tumbling down for sure. Anna, however, very great at flexibility. 12, 13, 14, 15. You win, Anna. What? Oh, I got dizzy. I think I was doing it. Wait, where's the roof? Where's the ground? You think stars? You definitely landed out of the line. No! I tried to show off at the end. It backfired. Just so you know, he did land out of the line. Just because of that, I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. What? This is rigged. I've seen better. I think you should stick with that flexibility. I've never done this exercise on a beam, so hopefully I can do it. You're gonna fall. You're definitely gonna fall. Oh, wobble, wobble, earthquake. What are you doing? No. Uh, your, your toe could have been pointed a little more. I would give that a solid 8. I'll take an 8. That's Wait, good. an 8? How did she get an 8 for that? And I got a 6 for all the back handsprings. You stepped out of the line. <sighs> I have no idea what he's about to do. If I want a higher score, I got to do harder tricks. Watch this one. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, 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 eight,
I give that a six. Oh, all right, I got some harder tricks. I've never seen anyone do that before. I give that one an eight out of 10. Then we can also try some leaps. Duck splits are kind of like this, so. And it's the other way around. <laughs> I really hope that beats Jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, you're moving, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you won't make it, no, 20. There's no 19, way she could do any 20, more than that. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, stop, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, I can't okay, even count that I'm high. Done. That was good. But not as good as what I'm gonna do. It didn't really look impossible, so I give you a seven. That's fair. Double flips for double point. Oh! Stuck that! That was a double back. That was super difficult, but you did do it on the trampoline, so I give it a nine. Let's go. Finally, a score that I can put to my name. Your score is lower than your height, Anna. You might be in the lead right now, but you haven't seen what I'm about to do next. I've never done this exercise before, but if I get it, I think it'll be really cool. So let's try it. Push-ups and a split. The triple fold was insane, so I give it a nine. Here's what Jack did for his next trip. I give it a seven. What? Okay, that's still a pretty high score though for what it was. I'm running out of exercises, but I really want to win. So hopefully this gets a high score. This was one of my last few exercises, so comment below who you think is going to win the entire competition. I need at least an eight out of 10 on this one to catch up to Jack. I give it an eight out of 10. I'm getting a higher number than Anna for sure. For Jack's next skill, he did a triple, which is extremely difficult. I knew this was going to score really well, so I had to think so hard about what I could possibly do to top it. He even added some flexibility by doing a split at the end, but that's actually what inspired my next trick. That triple was insane, I give it a 10. Yes, let's go. I knew that was gonna be the highest score I could get. Jack just did one of his hardest skills, so next I'm going to do something that I've never seen anyone do before. This is one of my favorite tricks. In order to catch up to Jack, I need to get a perfect 10, so I decided to do my wall splits all the way to the ground. I'm pretty nervous doing this because it's my final trick of the day and I really don't want to have to do the consequence. My score will be announced so soon. Hopefully this gets a 10 too. Thank you so much, Elena. I think your tips are really gonna help me win the competition, hopefully. And if you guys wanna see us do a really fun challenge together, make sure to subscribe. Anna's wall splits get a 10 out of 10 too, which means you both tied. Wait, for no consequence? No consequence. Let's go.